Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. I'm in the mood to shoot something a little different today. Hmm. How about these? Today we'll take a look at the Ruger Single Six Revolver in 32 h and r This revolver was released by Ruger in 2002, and this particular pair of consecutively numbered bird's head grip revolvers belong to Miss Harley, but due to her work schedule, she hasn't put him to use out on the range in several years, so I figured I'd take him out to this month's ruckus match and blow some of the dust off from him. In 600 feet, turn left onto Southeast 144th Street. Not that they've really collected any dust because of the way that I care for them, but you get the idea. At the stop sign, turn left onto Southeast 144th Street. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with this club, it's the Renton United Cowboy Action Shooters Club located at the Renton Rod and Gun Club in Renton, Washington. And I have a playlist featuring this club if you want more information on their range. I will put a link to that on the end card of this episode. And I should mention here that these revolvers are not currently being manufactured by Ruger, but you can still find them online at Gunbroker. Guns America, and occasionally on the SAS wire. Just in case watching this episode gets you hankering for one of these revolvers, or two of them. I load the 32 h and new model single six with black powder for cowboy action shooting. The load I use for Miss Harley is as close to one cc of triple F black powder as I can fit into these little cases. On top of that powder charge is a 96 grain lead bullet from my pards at Desperado Cowboy Bullets. And as you can see, my load generates plenty of smoke, a fair amount of fire, and rings the targets soundly. For today's cowboy action shooting match, I paired the Ruger Single Six with an 1873 rifle with an 18 inch octagon barrel chambered in 4440. and my favorite SKB shotgun in 12 gauge. <laughs> and before anyone comments about quote, mouse fart loads out of these little revolvers, save it. I'm not at all interested in those kind of comments. The way I see it, if not for these revolvers, there are a lot of lady, youth, and elderly shooters that might not be playing our cowboy action shooting game. And that includes some folks very close to me, like Miss Harley, who loves her little Rugers, and Kook, who started shooting with a pair of 32 h and revolvers before moving to a pair of Ruger Vaqueros. And frankly, I don't give a hoot who shoots this compact, lightweight, little single action Ruger revolver. As long as they're generating a safe load that falls within the rules of our sport and they're having fun, then they're welcome to posse with me anytime. Heck, I found myself having so much fun with these fast shooting little revolvers that I'm sure I'll bring them out to the range again, provided Miss Harley lets me. Now, speaking of Miss Harley, her stainless steel Ruger single sixes have been tuned with lighter springs and have had the barrel to cylinder gap opened up slightly to run better with black powder. She still recommended that I wipe them down every couple of stages to keep the fouling from building up and binding the gun. The 32 h and Magnum new model single six revolvers will also handle the 32 Smith & Wesson and the 32 Smith & Wesson long cartridges. So if you have a favorite smokeless load in those calibers, these might be a good revolver for you. This little single six revolver would even work well as a carry gun with some hot 32 loads. Ah, 
I adapted pretty quickly to the bird's head grip, and after sending 60 rounds down range with them on my first day of shooting, I only missed one target on the very first stage. <laughs> I couldn't see I could not I could not see those targets at all a lot of smoke yeah Well, that is the end of the first day here. And I got to tell you, I like these little 32 single sixes so much. I'm going to bring them back out tomorrow if Miss Harley will let me. Y'all are going to have to wait until the next episode to see if Miss Harley lets me take these back out on the range. If you enjoyed this look at the Ruger Single Six, then feel free to hit that like button. Also, let me know if you would use these little mini Vaqueros in competition as a carry gun, or if you own one, let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time. Hey, Miss Harley. Miss Harley, I have a favor to ask.